Hello and welcome to the eighth video in my How to Paint the Horus Heresy series. In this video, we're going to be tackling these salamanders. If you've been enjoying the series, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps and away we go. So we're going to start off with our model here. It's primed in Vallejo Game Air Dark Green. We're going to give the model a zenithal highlight with Vallejo Game Air Sit Green. Hitting the model from above with the colour through the airbrush. You could dry brush this from a top down motion if you haven't got an airbrush. Uh, as long as you get the sort of two tone colour in there, just add some variety to the colours. That's all that really matters. Once we've done that, we're going to take Balthazar Gold. I'm going to paint in all of the trim on the armour, the bonding studs, maybe pick out some details like the backpack top. Then we're going to take Lead Belcher and paint in all the other metal areas on the armour. Last for the base coats, we're going to take black. I'm using Vallejo Muddle Colour Black. I'm going to paint in places like the gun casing, some knee pads, the inside of the shoulders, and the chest straps, the armour joints, those kind of other details which aren't metallic and we want to show off. For the transfers, we're going to use Micro Set on the shoulder pads, place our transfer onto the shoulder pads, and then put on a couple of drops of Micro Sole to soften it up and get it to stick to the shape of the shoulder better. Once that's done, we're going to give the whole model a blast with Vallejo matte varnish. And then onto the grime. We're going to paint the whole model with streak and grime. You can use a brush or an airbrush to apply it here, just a whole coat across the whole model. And this is MIG streak and grime. The reason we use MIG is because the colour consistency is better than AK. Once we've done that, we're going to reduce the grime by taking enamel thinner on a cotton bud. We're just going to roll that across the model. Then, to clean up some of the grime, we're going to take the dry side of a cotton bud and just rub that across the model again. So add some variation, dark streak and grime, just a few splashes here and there across the armour. And again, clean that up with a dry cotton bud. For some rust, we're going to take MIG streaking rust and just splash it onto a few areas here and there, just to add some more variety to the colours on them. And again, mop up any excess with a cotton bud. To add some variety to the rust, we're going to take some Troll Slayer Orange and just dab it on into the areas where we've got the rust, and it's going to create some nice bright orange rust areas. We've dried the model off with a hot hair dryer, but we've lost some of the definition. So we're going to take black enamel wash by MIG, and we're going to place this into any areas where there's joins, um, or we want some extra definition, for example, like on the gun here, around any armor joints, um, around the bonding studs, on the shoulder pads, that kind of thing. Once that's done, we're going to dry the model off again, and we're going to use Typhus Corrosion, and we're just going to add some splodges onto the armour here and there to create some texture. And again, once that's dried, we're going to take Dirty Down Rust, and we're going to apply this onto the armour within those areas of Typhus Corrosion, and we're going to apply it in different thicknesses so that we get lots of variety of different rust colours in there. And you can increase the variety of rust by adding a couple of drops of water to this. And this is going to create, make the rust go really, really bright and almost yellowy. You can see on this shoulder piece here, we've got some nice crusty texture going on. For the eyes. I'm going to start off by painting the whole eye socket with a 50-50 mix of black and corn red. Then in the section closest to the middle of the face, we're going to paint that in corn red, probably for two thirds of the eye lens. If you can, leave a little ring of that previous base colour around the outside of the eye lens. Then we're going to take the fist on red and just paint within that. Follow that up by Troll Slayer Orange, paint a smaller section within that. Then Irreal Yellow, again, smaller section within that. And finally, a little white dot 
in the back corner just to give a little shine. For the base, I'm going to go for like an Isvan base. So we're using some PVA glue here. Then we use the Scorch Battlegrounds Instant Base Scatter from Rival Crafts. Just get that model in there, get it all over. And then we're going to add some black pigment to the bottom of the legs. So we take some pigment fixer from MIG, just pat that onto them, and then just apply some India black pigment to those bottoms of the legs. You don't want to coat the whole bottom of the legs, just you know, give it a bit of a dusty look. To clean up the base rim, just take our cotton bud with some enamel thinner and just run that around. And once that's dry, just paint the base rim black. There we have it. There is our salamander. So that is the eighth of the Legion videos now. Next up, we're going to do World Eaters, which I'm quite looking forward to, because that's going to be a little bit different. And we're going to look at chipping medium and blood spatter and that kind of thing. I'm really, really enjoying the series. I hope you are too. It's really fun going through all these Legions, especially in the build-up to the Horus Heresy release coming up later this year. Uh, I was at the Horus Heresy open day, and I can tell you the new models look absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to get my hands on more of those to paint. I've painted up a Sons of Horus Beaky, as you can see here. But yeah, I, I just hope you're really enjoying the series as I am making them, and hopefully see you in the next time. Thanks very much, everyone. See you later.